What's up, dummies? In the last episode, I accidentally completed a bit of the White Viola quest, just on a whim. That was really cool. Investigating a random word of power. Uh, this episode, I said we would start off by reading that book that we found that looked kind of interesting in the last place. So, <laughs> I've been up for 10 minutes of reading. It better be. This is The Mirror by Birdier Reads. Birdier Reads. I'll, I'll leave the Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter, um, um, Snapchat, um, Musical.ly, Vine, TikTok, I'll leave uh, all of those links, and Twitter, uh, and Instagram, and Facebook, uh, I'll leave all, the, all of her links in the description below. The wind blew over the open plain, jostling the few trees within to move back and forth with the irritation of it. A young man in bright green turban approached the army and gave his chieftain's terms for peace to, to the commander. He was refused. It was to be battle, the Battle of Ain Kalur. So the chief... That's an I. Imbez? Im embezzlement. So chief embezzlement had decreed his open defiance and his horsemen were at war once again. Many times the tribe had moved into territory that was not theirs to occupy, and many times the diplomatic approach had failed. It had come to this at long last. It was just as well with Mindathrax, Mindathrax. His allies may win or lose, but he would always survive, though he had occasionally been on lo the losing side of a war. Never once in all his 34 years that he lost hand-to-hand -hand combat. The two armies poured like jewel-frothing streams through the dust, when they, and when they met, a clamour rang out, echoing into the hills. Blood, the first look at the clay had tasted in many a month, danced like powder. That's, that's a cool... That's a cool description. That's, that's nice. The high and low battle cries of the rival tribes met in harmony as the armies dug into one, other, one another's flesh. Mindathrax was in the element he loved. After ten hours of fighting, with no ground given, both commanders called a mutual and honourable withdrawal from the field. The camp was positioned in a high-walled garden of an old burial ground, adorned by springtide blossoms. As Mindathrax toured the grounds, he was reminded of his childhood home. It was a happy and a sad recollection, the purity of childhood ambition, all of his schooling in the ways of battle, but tinged with memories of his poor mother. Beautiful woman looking down at her son with both pride and unspoken sorrow. She never talked about what troubled her, but it came as no surprise to any when she took the walk across the moors and was found days later, her throat slid open by her own hand. Yikes! The army itself was like a colony of ants, newly shaken. Within a half hour's time after the end of the battle, they had reorganised as if by instinct, as the medics looked to the wounded, someone remarked with a measure of admiration and astonishment, look at Mindathrax, his hair isn't even out of place. He's a mighty swordsman, said the attending physician. The sword is a greatly overvalued article, said Mindathrax, nevertheless pleased with the attention. Warriors pay too much attention to striking, and not enough in defending strikes. The proper way to go into battle is to defend yourself and to hit your opponent only when the ideal moment arises. I prefer a more straight-forward approach, smiled one of the wounded. It is the way of the horsemen. If it is the way of the... Jol say tribes to fail, I, then I renounce my heritage, says Mentifax, making a quick sign to the spirits that he was being excessive, not blas expressive, not blasphemous. <laughs> Remember what the great blade master, Gaiden Shinji... Gaiden Shinji! The best techniques are passed on by the survivors. I have been in 36 battles and I haven't a scar to show for them. That is because I rely on my shield and then my blade in that order. What is your secret? Think of melee as a mirror. I look to my opponent's left arm when I am striking with my right. If he's prepared to block my blow, I blow not. Why exert undue force? Mindathax cocked an eyebrow. But when I see his right arm tense, my left arm goes to my shield. You see, it takes twice as much power to send force than it does to deflect it. When you right can recognize whether your opponent is striking from above or at an angle or in an uppercut from below, you learn to pivot and place your shield just so, to, just so to protect yourself. I could block for hours if need be, but it only takes a few minutes or even seconds for your opponent used to battering to leave a space open for your own strike. What was the longest you've ever had to defend yourself? I fought a man once for an hour's time. He was tirelessly, tireless with his bludgeoning, never giving me a moment to do or but block his strikes. But finally, he took a moment too long in raising his cudgel, I found my mark in his chest. He struck my shield a thousand times and I struck his heart once, but that was enough. So who is your greatest opponent? I asked the medico. Oh, indeed not. Turning his metal shield to the silvery, reflected his own, silvery metal reflected his own face. There is he. Oh. The next day the chief recommended, the battle rec recommenced. 
Chief embezzlement had brought in reinforcements from the islands to the south. To the horror and disgrace of the tribe, mercenaries, renegade horsemen, and even some Richmen witches included in the war. Oh no. Uh, and as Mintafax stared across the field at the armies assembling, putting on his helmet and readying his shield and blade, he thought again of his poor mother. What a tortured us son. Why had she never been able to look at her son without grief? Between sunrise and sundown, a battle raged. A bright blue sky overhead burned down on the combatants as they rushed against one another over and over again. In every melee, Windafax prevailed. A foe with an axe raised a se- rained a series of strikes against his shield, but every one was deflected until at last Mindathax could best the warrior. A spear may nearly pierced the shield with her first strike, but Mindathax knew how to give, her with, give, give with the blow, throwing her off balance and leaving her open for his counter-strike. Finally, he met a mercenary on the field, armed with a shield and sword, and a helm of golden bronze. For an hour and a half they battled, Mindafax tried every trick he knew. When the mercenary tensed his left arm, he held back his strike. When the opponent raised his sword, his shield t- rose to and expertly blocked. For the first time in his life, he was battling another defensive fighter. Stationary, reflective, with energy to battle for days if need be. Occasionally another warrior would enter the fray, sometimes from Mindafax's army, sometimes from his opponents. These destructions were swiftly dispatched, and the champions returned to their fight. As they fought, circling one another, matching block for blow and blow for block, it dawned on Mindathrax that he, at last, he was fighting the perfect mirror. It became more more a game, almost a dance, than a battle of blood. It was not until Mindathrax missed his own step, striking too soon, throwing himself off the balance, that the promenade was ended. He saw, rather than felt, the mercenary's blade rip across him from throat to chest. A good strike. The sword he himself might have delivered. Mindathax fell to the ground, his feeling his life passing. The mercenary stood over him, prepared to give his worthy adversary the killing blow. It was a strange, honourable deed for an outsider to do. Mindathax was greatly moved. Wait, what? Stood over him, prepared to give his worthy adversary the killing blow. Across the battlefield, he heard someone call a name similar to his own. What? Jurifax. The mercenary removed his helmet and turned to the call. As he did so, Mindafax saw through the slits of his helmet his, refle- his own reflection in the man. It was his own close set eyes, red and brown hair, thin and wide mouth, and blonde chin. For a moment, he marveled at the mirror. Before the stranger turned back to him and delivered the death stroke. Jurifax. God, he's so sexy! Jurifax returned to his commander and was well paid for his part in the day's victory. They retired for a hot meal under the stars in a garden by an old cairn that had previously been occupied by their foes. The mercenary was strangely quiet as he observed the land. Have you been here before, Jurifax? Asked one of the tribesmen who had hired him. <gasps> Maybe they're twins. I was born a horseman just like you. My mother sold me when I was just a babe. I have always wondered how my life might have been different had I not been bartered away. I might never have been a mercenary. There are many things that decide our fate, said the witch. It is madness to try to see how you might have taken this turn or that in that in the world. You are not exactly like yourself, so it is foolish to compare. But there is one. My master, before he set me free, said that my mother had twin sons when I was born. She could only afford to raise but one child. But somewhere out there, there was a man just like me, my brother. I hoped to meet him. The witch saw the spirits before her and knew the truth that the twins had already met. She remained silent and stared into the fire, banishing the thoughts from her head, too wise to tell all. That's a nice story. I like that. Drops it on the floor, never comes back to it ever again. I like that one. That was pretty interesting. <laughs> Which one should we do? Should we do Saint Sausage Uses? I found the journal on the bandit leader. Should learn it to read more about who they are. <laughs> Wait, no. Uh, let's read both of them. We might as well. Oh, we only have one of the bandit journals. Samari suggests bandit cap. Dark work this, but does it ever pay well? Once every few days, a merchant comes galloping through, defenseless as a babe. We seduce is always to work a deed and lighten the load before we let them pass. It's the least we can do. Moving north was the best thing we ever did. Livery side to the milk drinkers of White Run, or as they call themselves, the Saints. They're probably still hounding him on the road to Markarth. Spar rings behind on his visit. I wonder if his path from the west was more treacherous than usual. We did a change in our fortunes. If we don't get paid soon, I fear the others might not stay much longer. Hopefully this new lead pans out. Lead pans out. Fuck me. I thought it hurts because I'm reading so much. Ooh. 
So we're still missing the Saints Bandit leaders too. Right Swag. Maybe I didn't pick it up. I really killed the Bandit leader? Huh. Um. I want to go kill the Saints Bandit leader then. Because if I've killed the Seducers Bandit leader already. I think I accidentally stumbled across that. Um. Maybe like 30 episodes ago or something. Hmm. Might make a cup of tea, actually. And give my throat a rest for a little bit. I'll kill him first, because we're right here. You ready for this? <coughs> Sorry, that's disgusting. No terve! Oh shit. Did I turn the difficulty back down or something? What is this? Put it on master. I might turn it down again, but... We are so powerful. <laughs> you seven a bear trap, bro? Whoa. New stuff. That's so crazy to see new stuff in Skyrim. They don't look that cool. The Nordic stuff looks so fucking cool. God damn it, I didn't want that. Do I get another nymph pet? <sighs> yeah, the seducer stuff is definitely way cooler than the saint stuff. Sorry, Oblivion. I know. Expensive. Hello, my little friend. Manic, I'm actually. Yeah. Another bug. The mantis must have caged you. Hey, little only I on hurt, eh? The second bug of your kind I've come across recently. You look like another creature found in caged. It was equally repulsive. He's a new bug. I've killed weirder things than you, so don't bite me. Hey, we could have just had three. We don't need like five or six fucking responses next time, right? Stop it. Hmm. Hey, that little guy. I'll just leave you here. Wanna be my pet? Hmm. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, uh, go. Let's harvest some venom. Huh? Ah, mystic venom. Go to the city. Yeah, go to Falkreath. I'll see you there, probably, maybe. Bye. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go make a cup of tea and have a little break for a second because it hurts to talk. And then we'll come back and we'll read the new journals. Oh. Great greetings. I don't know if you heard that properly. Uh, I made tomato soup and I had four Doritos and looked at this Christmas cake that we bought. Can't eat it because it has whey in it and I'm gonna avoid whey because I think that's actually what's causing the problem. And I have three Jaffa Cakes. We had a big 40 pack of Jaffa Cakes, a big tube for Christmas. And uh, I only just opened it earlier, because like five minutes ago, because I realized, oh, these go out of date next week. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, we need to eat all of these Jaffa Cakes within a week. How are we going to do that? Ooh. So they will all be demolished by the end of the day. <laughs> Between the five of us. <laughs> Might give a pack to our neighbor. Um, yeah, I just took the bins out and it's raining, so I'm all wet. <laughs> I'm back. I'll be back in a minute, though, because I want to have some soup. Mm-hmm. I made a cup of tea. I ate one of my three Jaffa cakes that I bought with me. And now we're back. I'll take this off. I'm getting a bit warm. Heating's on. It's pissing down outside, but it's nice. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, in my black today, I thought it was in blue. <laughs> it's a bit green on the camera. Hmm. Alrighty. Read their bandit journal now. 
Now this is what I call easy coin. I'm proud to be one of the saints. Every few days, Rasad comes down the road and his ways are out for the taking. We don't take everything, mind you. If you don't got nothing to sell, he can't stand business, and then where would we be? We just skip a bit off the top each time. Kindle should be happy with our latest stake. We'll be leaving his camp up near Calthwaston to pay us a visit soon. Those damn seducers were eating into our profits until we drove them off up north. Other merchants have passed through these parts, so maybe they'll stay gone. Maybe. I don't like the saints. The seducers are way cooler. Fuck you guys. Let's kill the saints first. Remember Carthwaston? I, 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 I don't remember anything about Carthwaston. I always think it's Carthspire. But it's a separate place. That's the Reachman place. But Carthwaston is, is a town. I don't, I don't remember any NPCs from this. I can't name any single person. I can name someone from every other town, every other hold, every other capital. Never from this city. He's the one that had the mining issue. Divine smile on you. Mine attack. Finally, both of my minds are open again. Time for everyone to get back to work. You're welcome. Farewell. This was the cool place. Good to see you again, friend. I actually really like Carthwaston. Is this the woman that fell? We're not from here. We don't need to be talking. This is the woman that fell that wanted me to deliver the note, wasn't it? By the campfire. Maybe not. Maybe that was sure stone. That might have been sure stone, yeah. Okay. Minus barracks. Maybe she's in here. If this is the right place, I don't know if it is or not. Um. May your weapons be sharp. Sarnok mine is open again. It was a different place. Must have been sure stone. Yes. Thanks, guys. Inland two-story house. Juniper. Can't last in a hall. What a quaint little town. <laughs> Hello? If the Forsworn aren't attacking my town, the Nords are trying to force me off it. Mm-hmm. God bless. Can't hide cheese from me. If I can't eat cheese in real life anymore, I'm damn well gonna read it in video game. All the silver fuck I thought it was steel. I was gonna say steel things, but and it was gonna be a clever wordplay. Every time I steal stuff, I can never be too sure certain that there's nobody else around me, so I'm like, ooh. Oh. Farewell. Farewell, my friend. Bye. Hmm. Shitty little town. Okay. Let's get rid of them. The saints, not the not the, not the townsfolk. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello, everybody. A conjuration there. Victory is yours. Cool. I should use the black soul gem so I can capture the human soul. Yeah. I have a human soul gem. That should be enough. That's a surprise. Maybe Soul Trap and uh Glaze Wounds. <laughs> Just wanna make sure. Shout. No. Okay, that's a shame. I'm really confused. I thought I should be able to... Damn it. Missed it. I don't need them. Stop picking stuff up. Oh. Huh. Okay. 
keep those at home. That's really interesting. Golden greatsword. One, two, two damage. Hmm. Two, two, one. Yeah. Soul tomato? Huh? Did I read that right? Hang on a second. Soul tomato? Soul tomato? It's an ingredient? Oh, we still have Jaren root. Where can you pick that up? That's really interesting. What did I pick up? I thought it was called Soul Potato. It's not like a miscellaneous quest item, is it? Soul Tomato. Empty. What is a Soul Tomato? <laughs> it's not an alchemical ingredient, it's not... Is it like a Soul Gem? Can I fill it with a soul and then poison somebody with it? Or like give somebody else, somebody else, someone, someone's soul? I. <laughs> okay. That's cool. Even though we no longer read with the backstabbing seducers, we still work for that wizard Thoron. He's been paying us handsomely. That name sounds really familiar. To turn over a precise caravan, looking for any trinkets, this seems strange. We could go, we found a sword unlike anything we've ever seen. Thoron's face lit up when he saw it. This could be it, he said. Something about a bridge. He's probably lost it. No sword is worth how much he paid us for it. Well, no, you're us complaining, but no. We s oh, so we paid a lot of money for it. We see Thorin once a month, so he can have a look at our spoils. Everything he doesn't want, we split in sound, nice and clean. When we don't, he skulks off. Back to that layer of his in solitude. What he does there is anyone's guess. Does he mean Dragon Bridge? Thorin. Who's Thorin? That sounds so familiar. Oh. Powerful conjurer Thorin has been funding the saints and seducers bandits while conducting dangerous experiments somewhere in solitude. So what do we learn from Sfarik's camp? Oh, this is just outside Forsaken Cave. Huh. You specialized rods to catch the rarest fish. Specialized rods? Huh. That's pretty cool. There's a lot more to this than I thought. Not to mention all the new alchemical ingredients. Just across the fucking road. You in there, love. You in. What? I do like you guys, sorry. I can capture his soul. Yeah. Brave boy, well done. God, the dark stuff looks so cool. So if the saints are mania, does that mean these seducers are dementia? Am I remembering that right? Dog dagger. I really like the dark arrows and the dark bow. It's so cool. Daedra Hard. Oh shit. Huh. I wonder why I missed around the other camp. Conundrum good. What is this? Hidden in Mazira Giant Spore. Void Essence. Your armor doesn't look as cool. No, it looks. Yeah, it doesn't look cool at all. Neither of the armors look cool. To me. The weapons look cool. Hey. Where'd the other one of you go? Mm -hmm. That looks ergonomic. And easy to wield. Hey everybody, we're the we're the seducers. I'm their chief blacksmith. 
all of the zoom level. Today I'm going to be talking about how we uh, make our awesome weaponry. Well, I don't know where the other guy went. If we had that detect dead spell, that would actually be fucking useful, god damn it. It's far external. Okay. We continue to do the bidding of Thoron, a wealthy benefactor. So he's working with both of them. Though our relationship has taken a turn for the worse, he still pays exceedingly well and continues to ask us to pillage the trade caravans as they pass, searching for anything we can find that seems off or even has a hint of magic. Thorin is a powerful conjurer, but is also completely insane. He has become increasingly unhappy with our spoilers as of late. I suspect the vainglorious saints have done something to gain his favour. We've all become fearful of what might happen if we meet him next month and he disapproves of our spoils. If you ask me, all that time he spends holed up in those sewers has finally turned his brains upside down. Did I say sewers? The sewers? He seemed to really like those tongs and rusty calipers we bought <sighs> a few months back. All we need is to find the right piece of junk that he thinks will help him bridge the gap he keeps going on about. And with our full converses once again. Fucking calipers. God damn it. That's... It's a nice... That's clever. Oblivion caliper. There's a whole sh sh shtick about it. And there's no calipers left in the world anymore. I don't remember the exact shit. Return to Rusad. Sure. I like Rusad a lot. Alright. So where do we think he's going? I'm assuming he's either coming to Whiterun or leaving Whiterun. But if he's on the road to like Markov or something, we might miss him. I'm gonna go to Whiterun and hope that we catch him there. Hmm. Maybe he's going to Rorix or something. I need to look at their routes, see where they travel. This is one of my least favorite Skyrim songs. I don't know what it is about it, I just don't like it. It's a good symbolic hustle and bustle song. But, don't like it. Fuck. Hm. Um. Was that a sign? <laughs> for cakes. If you don't live in the UK, go find some Jaffa cakes. You'll regret it. Fuck you! I figured he was still moving. Come on, horse, let's go. Oh no, cultists or mud crabs or something. Who? Just random hired thugs? Bandits? What, you won't be yours. Fuck off. Who are you? Saints bandit. Fuck. Oh. Yeah, get him, boy. You won't my horse a fucking good. Fucking battered, mate. You okay, baby? Hmm. Huh. Oh, I didn't read these either, fuck. A blacksmith often has gone mad. Most of the time he spirits nonsense. This is all started three days ago. No, he won't even pick up his hammer. We've tried to talk sense into the lamp, but it's like he doesn't even see us. He wrote down the means to forge our golden arms and armor. I was I made a joke about the blacksmiths. Oh shit. And that this of the seducers, but he never told us soul where he left the blasted notes. If we weren't holding out hope that he might snap out of it, we would have already parted his head from the rest of it. Lately he's been going on about playing under the bridge like he was still a child. That's why I always hit my toys, he said. I know his kin used to live around Half Moon Mill, and we should round up some folks to have a look. Damn, what about the other one? Alexei the Nord wretch that slew... Oh, the Nord wretch that slew Kinthal will pay dearly for what he's done, but my hand the scales will be balanced. 
when I return victorious, there will be no doubt that I should lead the saints from here on on. Here on on. Yeah? What a leader you are. Did you die first? Whatever. You are a disgrace. I hope bears... Don't say it. It was just going to be something disgusting and awful to say, for the sake of saying it. Ah! Oh, terribly sorry, Mr. Muddy Crab. Won't happen again. I'm part of the Anti-Murder Mud Crab Association. Anti-Mud Crab Murder Association. I can't kill mud crabs. They're too sweet. Mud crabs are my little baby boys. Fuck. I'm going to scale this mountain. Whoa, look, whoa! I am ascending up the water, wow. Oh, that was awesome. Holy shit, I didn't know the water could do that. Huh. Crazy, right? <laughs> oh. Don't scare me. Get your weapon out. Get your gun out. What are you doing? Get the... Get your gun out. What are you fucking doing, you idiots? Switch. Switch. He is not getting his weapons out. Look. This game is so broken. Sisyphus. You toss pot. Fuck out of here. Give your teeth. Damn shit. That's this place again. Did you suspend it now? <laughs> it's nothing. Yeah. I'll do it again then. Oh. I'm gonna say, where's the other one? Ooh. Almost. Good job. Switch! It switched my weapons and shit for me. I didn't press the button for that. What the fuck? That's why he was getting the... They were switched around. Come on. Come on. Revenge for Spark. you get away from each other? Stop. Oh my god, that's so obnoxious. Move. Thank you. Christ. That looks cosy. Huh. Okay, let's reach Varix. <laughs> my companions and I have formed a pact to hunt down Alexi, the despicable lord. Responsible for butchering Svarik. This transgression cannot be overlooked. Our honor and seduce this demands nothing less than Alexei's head on a pike. Tough luck, bastards. You ain't getting it. Runs over bear trap like it's fucking nothing. We're entering White Hog. Run. White Hog Holder. White Run Holder. Oh, hmm. oh. <laughs> wait! Just a random cultist walking around. What? <laughs> Who are those down there? Are they farmers? There's a bee. Ah. 
Oh, that one just conjured a seeker. Oh shit, that was spooky. Yeah, I do love what you're gonna do about it, huh? You toxic fucking cunt. I'm kind of surprised we haven't got more with archery. We should do more archery. Oh no no no. Oh, that is... That is a sight to see. Wow. That's good to know. That's really good. Is it possible to get enough points to level everything up? It's not, is it? Nah, that's annoying. I don't want them to run away from me when I'm trying to kill them. What sp spell level is my detect life? Adept. Novice. Apprentice. Adept. We cannot look at just not yet. Expert, master, absorb 30% of the magic of any spells that hit you. That's such a cool perk. That's so cool. I'm smithing. Glass armor. I'm okay. What ore do you use for glass armor? Huh. Okay. Resard. Bro. Oh. Blessings of the moon, Sapadi. Please come and browse our goods. What will you give me for these? I've got coin. Five grand. I've got merchandise. Let's see what we can do. Five grand. Give me these lockpicks. <laughs> Five grand, bro. We need to make Stall Rim as well. Fucking hell, this game is so big! I hope that you will come to our business with us again. Rashad, what are you doing down here? As wares, if you have coin. What have you got for sale? Take a look. Take a look. <laughs> I love him. Calmberry. Hackle low leaf. Hmm. You want some of these, big boy? You want some of these? Mm. <laughs> Here, have that. I'm taking care of the Saints Institutions. Excellent. And now, please, accept this token of appreciation. You're welcome. Thanks. May the sun keep you warm, even in this land of bitter cold. And also with you. So your leaders, you know, stuck under the world, but... God. 
<laughs> That's a beautiful sprawling vista. Get out of the underground, stop it. Why do you often denote on sniffing gold and dark equipment? Where? Under the bridge at Half Moon Mill. Oh, Falkery Thome. A bit of lag, most likely. I don't know what it is, it's gotta be just the trees. I'll go to it and we'll see how it handles. But if it's too bad and unwatchable, but uh, I'll stop the recording and find them and then read them on camera to you for the first time. I'll move away. Only if it's too bad, though. It should be fine. Now create new equipment with Daedric Smithing. An ancient battle sits site was discovered near Thorn's Lair on the ground. An assortment of weapons and armor of the Daedra known as Golden Saints and Dark Seducers laid strewn about it. It is from this site that we took up their arms and joined together as bandit companies under their names. Since then, as the only blacksmith, I have taken it upon myself to study these otherworldly artifacts. So he's producing it for both sides. And now, at last, my efforts to reproduce the exquisite craftsmanship of these great Daedra has finally borne fruit. My mind is not what it once was. If my memory fails me, at least these notes can help the others keep the craft alive. One would be foolish to forge weapons from gold as it is far too soft. And yet the golden blades of the saints are nimble and harder than steel. How could this be? The trick appears to be threefold. First, the structure of the piece must be reinforced with a refined moonstone. Hello, motorbike. Second, the gold must be hammered into place while the gold is heated just below its melting point. Third, the introduction of the heart of a daedra to Part of a danger to forge when heating the piece so it can be hammered into shape. Completely transforms the attribute of the metal, giving it an uncanny hardness. Hmm. The process for forging the dark armor of the seducers is similar, but it requires more finesse, as you must balance shaping with the unyielding yoni with the malleable quicksilver. The heat applied must be very precise, and the, or the shape and integrity of the equipment will be ruined. As before, introduce the Daedric heart to the forge as you heat the material. But if it's not better than my current, then I'm not gonna... What's the point? Do they have a forge here? Probably not. This the one with the vampires? Did I kill both of them? I did, didn't I? Hmm. Well, hey, we leveled up lock picking. Didn't I kill both of them or just one of them? Hello? <gasps> oh. Someone's here. Maybe a guard. Hmm. That's cool. After studying the journals of both the saints and seducers, bandit leaders have learned that Thorin is conducting dangerous experiments in the Solitude series using a strange sword. I should locate Thorin's lair within the sewers and discover- Sewers! Again, I just said it again. Discover the nature of the country's experiments. Sewers? Let's go to the sewers. Shut the fuck up. Sewy Griffin. You know, I say, Brian. I'm going to change my name to Sewy instead of Stewie. Why? Can we ever go in the sewers? Do we do it in the prison break? Hey, 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 hey. Uh, go away. Go to uh, Riften. Bye. This is the demented one. Yeah, the dementia and then the mania. Demented and manic. 
So, which one was which? Fuck. Shit, which one was which? Which one, is, which one is Saints, which one is Seducers? Whichever one is Mania, I don't like. Whichever one is Saints, I don't like. I think Saints is Mania. What the fucking hell? Hello? What is it? Dragons? Mm hmm. What is that? Fuck off. Little black man. Destruction magic's fine. Just don't go burning down any minute. You should bash my face in for all I've done. I should bash your face you in after all you've done. New area. I've always wanted to go down here. It sounds so strange to say, but just knowing that Solitude has a working sewer system, you don't see that in any other place. Oblivion music. I was gonna say, what if they brought back no music for this? Holy shit, they did. Hee hee hee. Shiver, shiver, shivering Isles? I forget if it's shivering or shimmering. Oh no, aren't I allergic to poison? Or is it just not as effect poison? Yeah, it's not as effect venom. Elytra Icor? Elytra. It's Elytra, it is Elytra. Purple butterfly? What will each with? <laughs> Screaming maw. Hollowed stump. Amber. Why is this in here? Scale on food. Void essence. All of these new alchemical ingredients is. Thorn hook. Man, this is really cool. I was wondering where you were. <laughs> this is so cool. What a good throwback. <laughs> you were unable to find anything, did it just say? Did it bring back that? That was something that was really interesting in Oblivion, how you could search and then not gather an ingredient. I missed what that said. I'm so glad they brought back the Oblivion music. There's a lot of you. I think I should just hit them twice. No. Ooh, is there a... What is that? Yeah, I wondered where you were. Come on. It's spreaking.
Of the kosher food. Asta Bloom, cool. Watch his eye. What does all this stuff do? I'm so interested. Fucking the fly is back, stupid fly. To play Oblivion again. It's been months. Hmm. It's kind of creepy. My back is killing me carrying all this loot back to the camp. Storin says the gear is better than anything a blacksmith could forge. Remnants of an ancient battle between the Golden Saints and Dark Seducers themselves, he tells us. Still, I have my doubts. Excuse me, what's a wizard know about stopping an ebony arrow coming at your forehead with a poison tip and a full gust of wind? Plus, it doesn't look right. <laughs> Fuck off. How did I feel right? Still, the boss swears by and if I call a great leader a liar, I'm a dead man come morning. Still, if he asks me to bring one of those creepy looking books back for him, that's why I draw the line. Stinky bugs. Oh. I'll take it with me. Why not? Oh, is it either way? Wait. So I came from there. So this is the offshoot. Yeah. Oh, she got hit still. She's the target. These guys will fuck you up. <laughs> Red kelp gas blood. Jesus. Ooh. See, I stopped. I stopped going the other way because I thought, oh, that's the way the game wants me to go. I want to explore. Huh? No. Oh. But now I want to go the other way. That also reminds me of Oblivion split paths. Drink Magicka. What's this Spriggan buddy? 
Oh, we didn't level up looking from that. Oh. No, we won't. Completely. Oh. I just, I love Oblivion's music so much because it just reminds me of like early 2010s, like late 2000s, early 2010s nostalgia. It's just, it sounds so much like just mid 2000s video game soundtracks to me. I love it. Just reminds me of like Penumbra games and stuff. Put such a smile on my face. Right, who the fuck are you then? You're Thoron? What magical barrier is this? Oh yeah, he's a conjurer and a disappearer? Ooh! Well... An actual challenge for once. Okay. Need to understand what he does. Oh. Gotcha. And the case of a the sword of Jigalag, we mentioned Jigalag earlier. Heart of water, hunger tongue. Spell time conjure dark seducer. Armor, armor, warrior, ar archer, and warrior. Madness helmet of recovery. Ring of disrobing. What is all this? Sword of Jigalak. This sample of madness was discovered deep in an order ruin. It shouldn't have, no, could not have been there before. It couldn't have. My time spent with this sword has had an impact far greater than I could ever have, have ever imagined. My reach has grown far beyond these twisting tunnels. This is wonderful news. Perhaps even more such fragments have appeared in the unlikeliest of places. That said, working this material into a usable form has proven difficult. Raw amber equally so. This is a job better suited for a master blacksmith with deep knowledge of the arcane. Someone like a Vethra. A pure smithy and my confident... Confidant in learning the seri hidden series of small craft, Avethra would no doubt be able to work out the secrets of Amber Madness, or if she hasn't gone completely mad by now, that is. I still ha I shall have the seducers deliver her a sample of each. With any luck, I she still hones her craft north of Mistwatch, even after all these years. Give me the bust of Shergorath, come on. Why can't I put that in my house? I want Shergorath. I love Shergorath, he's fucking insane. He's so sexy. We have to read all of his journals. Bro. Bro. Oblivion. I don't even like Oblivion that much. Honestly, like I don't like playing it. I like playing it, but it's just, it, it's so creepy to me, it's just wrong. It's one of those games that scars you. Interesting that we're here. Why solitude? That's so interesting. Why solitude? What significance does solitude have for this? Sibyl Stentor? Ah, uh, fucking... Fatima Resurrection? 
I know we've hit an air one, but let's um Let's read his journals. And let's get the easiest one. <laughs> Second of first seed. Two years ago, okay. I've stumbled upon a dream, not one conjured from sleep or stupor, but sight and sense. I now hold in my possession a lump of amber shaped like the mad god himself. When I placed my hand upon it for the very first time, I stepped into the world of mania. My mind was truly clear, my eyes open for my eyes forever open. But as all dreams come to pass, so too did my time in bliss. Shit. With a single step, I found myself back in the wilderness, far away from my lovely mania. Gone with the golden hills, luminous stalks, and whimsical fragrances, and in its place the stink of flora and falls unbothered by the gloom. I've set about making a connection with the artifact once more, and the wondrous land it has revealed to me. Curses. After two days of constant focus, I finally connected with Mania once more. Well, it may be more accurate to say that Mania connected with me in this secluded camp near solitude. A powerful daedra took shape before my eyes, the golden saint with armor gleaming and eyes burning with surprise and fury. To my dismay, my ordinary methods of bending daedra to my will were no, of no use. As it began to raise its weapon against me, I fled. Whatever power was left in the amber, it lies dormant now. I must have to find out other artifacts like it, and through their magic forge, a connection to the world I lost. Right. We're gonna read these in the next episode, because, uh, yeah. Anyway, this is really cool! I'm surprised it took me so long to play through this new stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching, I'm gonna keep playing, and I'll uh, see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>